Hi, welcome to your tutorial number 11 for CSCI 130. I just noticed that in the previous tutorial I called that tutorial number 9 instead of number 10. I apologize for that. So on this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to answer your first posting posting one on your uh, for your assignment this week. So it says that we are going to get a number from the user and it says here so reads a number from a text box and explains to the user that if a zero is shown on the answer label then the number is a multiple of five otherwise it's not a multiple of five okay so let's answer this so let's call this form, let's click on the form, let's change the title and call this multiple of 5. Now let's have a label here and then on the label we're going to type please enter a number here and then we're gonna have a text box to read that number so I'm looking for the text box right here now we're gonna put a button let's call that check if number enter is a multiple of 5 Okay, now let's put another label in which we're going to explain and then we're going to see, let's call this result. And then another label in which we change the auto size to false and the back, the border style fix single and then the text and nothing, empty string nothing there and now we're gonna write the explanation and we're gonna say if the Result label is place a zero, then the number entered in the text box is a multiple pi otherwise it is not a multiple of phi no an explanation now let's go where it says out of size where are you true let's change that to false there so there uh, well I think that's 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 enough okay why we we're doing this like this well because we don't know if a statements yet so otherwise this will be really simple so what we're expecting is that the user types a number here and then they click on here check if the number enter is a multiple of five and then here is going to be a zero or something else okay so this is what we're going to do we we'll double click over here and we're going to define a variable dim i am x as integer and then the x comes from the value from text box one dot text okay and now we are going to display on the label uh, let me see which label this label that's label three on label three dot text equals x mod 5 
okay so if x is a multiple of i this will be zero so let's press f i type 15 this is a zero it is a multiple if i type 16 it's a one it's not a multiple if i type 20 check it is a zero now when i change the number 34 it still says zero so what we're gonna do is on the text box we also gonna say that when the text changes we want label 3 that text to be equal to the empty string okay oops and we're done so fi we test it so again what we're just doing is doing the modules operator so we say 45 45 is a multiple of 5 right so we expect a 0 so we check it it is a 0 then it's a multiple of 5 47 is not a multiple of 5 if I click I get something that is not a 0 that's what the explanation says and look when I take away the text this also goes away very nice so this is what we're posting so then I'm gonna a sample explanation here 25 that then I'm gonna put sample execution so I'm gonna press the key out print the screen right here then I go into my word document over here and then I type my name so you Quevedo I'm gonna call this sample executions I'm gonna put one when it's white there and then I'm gonna put one when it's wrong so now I'm gonna say for example 34 is not a multiple of 5 I click on the on the on this then I press alt print the screen and I'm gonna paste it over here Oops. Mm. So we do control V paste it. So I have here two forms there. And then I also need two more sections. So I paste it one when the answer is 25 is zero and then 34 and four. So one when it's right, one when it's wrong. Now I also need a section that says uh, code. So for the code, we are gonna go on here I'm gonna close the this and we go over here and then we're gonna select it all the code that we got we're gonna right click copy we go into the word document and we paste it there so we paste it and then we also gonna do our learning experiences learning experiences and then here you describe your experience describe here okay so we go to over here so let's check again then say an attached document in the body of your posting okay so in the body of the posting that's what we want and not actually in the word document so it is okay here on the word document I'm gonna do it in those two places at the same time so I'm gonna click over here I'm gonna select the code from here from my word document control C I'm gonna save it now so save it so I'm gonna save this into desktop online tutorials so this is a uh, multiple Bye. so I save it and now I can go to D12 click on the topic and I'm ready to post it so compose and then I say multiple of pi posting so here I can paste the code and my learning experiences and I'm gonna attach the word file so I browse so here tutorials 
and I call it multiple of pi so it's right here open upload and post it and then we're done okay so it took us about 10 minutes okay so just check for the tutorials for next week um, thank you